Students are able to take a variety of training courses that concentrate both on chemistry-related laboratory and non-laboratory skills, as well as transferable skills that will be of use to future employers. The best thing that I've got to do during my PhD is I've got to go to the Houses of Parliament in Westminster and present a poster on my research to the politicians and policymakers there. And I got the opportunity to enthuse them about the chemistry that's going on here in York. I think my favourite non-research activity um, that I've done is develop practicals for teaching labs. So there's been one where I've simulated an instrument that we don't have in teaching labs. I get to use a bit of the programming and I also get to bring a little bit of my computational work into teaching labs and develop new workshops for them. I did outreach at the National Railway Museum. I mainly designed short experiments to teach kids about uh, the core principles of green chemistry and sustainability. As well as doing your PhD here at York, there are hundreds of other societies that you can take part in. For example, I've just joined the Skydiver Society and I've been learning how to skydive and jump out of planes, which is pretty exciting. York as a city is a beautiful place and I think it's really well suited to a post-grad lifestyle. It has all the bars, pubs and restaurants that you would want.